The Galaxy Squad. This is our third info vlog, and our topic for today is about speed. So here's the instruction: Each member of the Galaxy Squad need to find a place in their house or outside their house with at least 10 meter length. And our objectives are to determine the speed and to compute our own speed. <laughs> our house as you can see so we're going to measure this place it has 10 meter length so in order to do that we're going to need a mattress and chalk for measuring if we have the right measurements so let's start so our mattress has 3 meter length in order to get the 10 meters length uh, we're going to add 3 meters plus 3 meters plus 3 meters plus 1 meter so let's start measuring for our starting point in running on my first trial I got 1.92 the second trial I got 3.53 and for the third trial I got 3.54 now I'm going to add the times I got for the three trials The symbol of speed is V and it has the 
formula of distance over time. For the distance, we have 10 meters over the average time. 2.9967 Now, let's divide them. Our speed is 3.3370. Next, let's compute my own speed in walking. For the first trial, we got 7.56. 7.56 again for our second trial. 7.88 for the third one. Again, let's just add the 3 times we got like we did in running. We got 23 seconds. Now, divide it by 3. We got 7.6667. The formula for speed is tens over time. Our distance is 10 meters over time, 7.6667 seconds. Now, divide them. We got 1.3043. Now guys, these are my speed in running and walking with their corresponding units. My own speed in running is 3.3370 meter per second, while my own speed in walking is 1.3043 meter per second. Boom! Sub Galaxy, I'm back and for today we will be doing the 10 meter run and 10 meter walk. In order for us to do a 10 meter run and 10 meter walk challenge, we will need to measure up 10 meters using a metro. So, see you guys! Guys, I'm back and for today I've finished measuring 10 meters. Now, we're gonna run! Let's get started in 3, 2, 1, go! For trial number 1 of my running, it took me 4.66 seconds. Let's get started in 3, 2, 1, go! For trial number 2 of running, it took me 4.39 seconds. Let's get started in 3, 2, 1, go! For trial number 3, it took me 4.59 seconds. 1, 2, 3, go! For trial 1, it took me 10.91 seconds. Let's get started. 3, 2, 1, go! For trial number 2, it took me 10.01 seconds. Now for trial number 3 of walking, let's get started in 3, 2, 1, go! For trial number 3, it took me 9.86 seconds. Once we get all the 3 trials ready, it's time for us to get the average time. In order to get the average time, all you have to do is add all the 3 trial times and divide it into 3. So let's get started. So for the trial average of time of the running, we're gonna add 4.66 for the first trial plus 4.39 for the second trial plus 4.59 for the last trial that equals to 13.64 seconds. Then we divide 13.64 seconds into 3 since we did 3 trials. Therefore, my average time is 4.5467 seconds. It's time for us to solve for a speed. The formula for speed is speed is equals to distance over time. Now, let's get started. Now, our distance is 10 meter divided by 
Our average speed 4.5467 seconds. So let's start it here. 4.5467 seconds. Now we're gonna divide the meter. The meter divided by 4.5467 seconds. Now my speed for running is 2.1993 meter per second. Now it's time for us to get the average time for walking. In order for us to get the average time for walking, all we have to do is add all the three times I get from the trial. So get started. For trial number one, I got 10.91 seconds. Trial number two, I got 10.01 seconds. And for trial number three, I got 9.86 seconds. Therefore, the time I got is 30.78 seconds. But we have to divide it into three to get the average. Therefore, the average time is 10.26 seconds. It's time for us to get the speed of me walking. So, let's get started. Just like the running, we have the same formula. Distance over time. Now, the distance like the running one is 10 meter. Over 10.26 seconds because that's my average time. So, let's do this. 10 meter divided by 10.26 seconds. I got 0.9746 meter per second. That's my speed for walking 10 meters. After measuring this area for 10 meter length, this is starting point. And this is the end point. In my first trial, I got 4.74 seconds. Second trial, I got 4.49 seconds. And the third trial, 4.56 seconds. Now, I'm going to add the, the time I got in three trials. So I got 13.79. Now, in order to get the, the average time, we're going to divide by three because we have three trials I get the average time of 4.5967 now I'm going to solve the speed for the distance we have 10 meter over time 4.5967 I got the speed 2.1755 meter per second. In walking, we solve it just like what we did in running. Therefore, our speed is 1.0560 meter per second. So what's up mga kagalaxy squad? Ngayon nasa labas tayo ng bahay to measure 10 meter para sa ating uh, gagawin vlog. Yes. Ito po yung ating starting point papunta doon. Dito po. Ito po yung ating end point. 10 meter po yan. Let's start 
at measuring our speed. Kumuha tayo ng 3 trials. Yung first trial natin, nakuha natin is 1.85 second. Sa second trial is 1.74 second. And sa third trial is 1.77 second. Inad natin silang tatlo, then nakuha natin is 5.5. 36 second then i-divide dinivide natin siya sa 3 then ang nakuha nating average time is 1.7867 second for the speed naman uh, speed is equal to distance over time so, so i-divide natin yung 10 meter sa 1.7867 second then nakuha natin na speed is 5.5969 meter per second Sa 10 meter walk naman, kumuha din tayo ng 3 trials. Sa first trial, nakuha natin is 3.81 second. Second trial is 3.93 second. Third trial is nakuha natin 3.86 second. Then, inad natin sila. Then, nakuha natin yung 11.6 second. Then, i-divide natin siya sa 3. Nakuha natin is 3.86 67 second, yun yung average time then kinuha din natin yung speed uh, so speed is equals to distance over time, so i-divide natin yung 10 meter dun sa 3.8667 second, then nakuha natin speed is 2.5862 meter per second After measuring this area, this is the starting point. And this is the end point here. So for now, we're going to solve what we have determined earlier. So here are the trials for running. 2.71 seconds for trial number 1. For the second trial is 3.46 seconds. And the third trial is 3.57 seconds. In total, it's 9.74 seconds. So we will divide it into 3 to get the average time. So the answer is 3.2467 seconds. So we're going to solve for the speed. The formula for speed is d over t, the distance over time. So the distance is 10 meter and the time that we have determined is 3.2467. So the final answer is 3.0801 meter per second. So here are the trials for walking. Trial number one is 5.41 seconds. For the second trial is 5.84 seconds. And for the last trial, it's 5.88 seconds. In total, it's 17.13 seconds. To get the average time, we will go to divide it into 3. So the answer is 5.71 seconds. So for this one, we're going to solve also for the speed. So distance over time, 10 meter over 5.71 seconds. So the final answer is 1.7513 meter per second. So that's all. Thank you. This is Chiki Tunggal. God bless you all. For generalization, what I've observed personally is that the trials are roughly the same. The, their speed, the time are very close to one another. They're very accurate to one another. For example, for trial number one, you got 3 seconds. For trial number two, you get 3.2 seconds. For trial number three, you get 3.15 seconds. They're very accurate to one another. There's very little difference in terms of seconds. Also, one more thing I've observed is that the terrain where you are running or walking also affects your time for example um if you're up walking on a or running on a field or a road since the ground is much denser much thicker you run much smoother and better than let's say walking in sandy place or a rocky place and there's a lot of things that drastically slow you down that affects your speed and your time so much what i observe personally for application, based on the activity, 
what is the importance of knowing the speed of someone or something when moving. In my opinion, it is very important for us to know how fast or how speedy something is moving. Take for example, you're in a road, you're riding a car or a vehicle, and then there's a sign saying the max limit for this road is 60 km per hour. And then you exceeded that limit and then you accidentally see a child walking and then you get boom. You get in trouble. That's why it's very important for us to focus and know how fast we're moving. Another example is speed represents our emotion. It can represent our emotion. Take for example, when you're moving faster, that means you're more excited, you're more alert, you're more quick, you're more efficient, you're more agile. Then moving slowly makes you more chill, calm, more sometimes a bit tardy. That's why knowing our speed can really benefit us and really helps us in life. What if my team competed in a one kilometer relay? How long will it take for us to complete the relay? Let's find out. First of all, as we all know, one kilometer is equivalent to 1,000 meter. 1,000 meter. Take note of that. Since my team consists of five members, I've decided to split up 1,000 meter and divided it into five. Therefore, each member will run only 200 meter each. 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 400, 600, 800, 1,000 meter or one kilometer. As you can also see on screen, there are numbers highlighted by color. Orange, pink, and green. Orange represents 30 meters. As we all know, the three trials each has a distance of 10 meter. So I decided to add up all the time, which in that case is seconds, together with the distance, which is 10 meters each, times it 3 is equal to 30 meters. Therefore, all of this is 30 meter each. Next, pink. The color pink represents 20 meter. What I've done, instead of adding all three, I only added trials 1 and 2 to get 20 meter. Therefore, all of this pink consists of 20 meters. Lastly, the color green represents the total time each member took for running 200 meter. Adding all the time took by each member for running 200 meter brought our overall time to 342.61 seconds or 5 minutes and 42.61 seconds. By the way, if we added all of this, it will consist of 200 meter. Like I said, orange represents 30 meter, so 30 meter plus 30 meter is 60 meter, plus another 30 is 90, then 120, 150, 180, and another 20 to get 200 meter each. Therefore, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200. As you can see, the time took for us to reach 1 kilometer by every member running 200 meter each is 342.61 seconds or 5 minutes 42.61 seconds. Thank you so much. First question. In what case a body's average speed is equal to its instantaneous speed? Let us first determine instantaneous speed. Instantaneous speed is the speed of an object at a particular moment in time. Therefore, a body's average speed can only be equal to its instantaneous speed when the body is moving with a uniform speed. Second question, true or false? Total distance traveled can never be less than the total displacement. Why? My answer will be false because the total displacement's magnitude is always less than or equal to the distance traveled. If we added two displacements in the same direction, then the distance traveled and magnitude of their sum will be equal. While two vectors in any other orientation will give a displacement less than the distance traveled. Explore your surroundings. Every moving body or object has its own speed, velocity, and acceleration. Conduct a research and look for the speed of the following animals. Express your answers in meter per second. Number 1. Cheetah Cheetah is the fastest land animal and its body accelerates 10 meter per second. Next one, slugs. Snakes and slugs travel at speeds that vary from slow, which is 
0.013 meter per second to very slow which is 0.0028 meter per second number three spur wing goose these are large birds in the family of anatidae and their speed is 39.444 meter per second next one seahorse the seahorse has a top speed of 2.235 meter per second yet when you look at the seahorse we see a creature that barely seems to move instead it seems to drift or float with the current number five frigate bird its speed is 42.5 5 meter per second number six nematodes nematodes are worms guys round worms to be precise nematodes move by contraction of the longitudinal muscles and their speed is 0.00025 meter per second next one white throated needle tail needle tailed swift or spine tailed swift is a large swift it is one of the fastest flying bird in flapping flight, being capable of speeds up to 47.222 meter per second. Next one, Gila Monster. Gila Monsters often stay hidden underground. It has been suggested that gillas can consume all the calories they need for a year in three or four large meals. Their top speed is only 0.667 meter per second. Number 9, Peregrine Falcon According to Earth Sky website, so far, no bird known can match the flying speed of a peregrine falcon in its hunting dive. The peregrine falcon is the fastest bird and in fact the fastest animal on Earth when in a dive. As it executes its dive, the peregrine falcon soars to a great height then dives steeply at speeds of over 88 0.889 meter per second number 10 manatees this info is from national geographics website and we converted the speed into meter per second it says powering themselves with their strong tails manatees typically glide along at five miles an hour or it's glide okay in meter per second two point two hundred 35 meter per second but can swim 15 miles an hour or in meter per second 6.706 meter per second in short burst these are all our answers in explore your surroundings I thought poverty will never be a hindrance in education, not until the online class started. Everything had changed. I felt that I have been left behind. Thankfully, I already overcome it with the help of my teachers, classmates, friends, and my family who always supported me. I am grateful for having them in my life. Thank you. We need to slow down some parts of our lives to cherish the moments that are happening so that we can enjoy the events of our lives better. When we has in everything, it will not match what we want to happen in our lives. It's the dream. In order to get the 10 meters, uh, 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 uh. The speed of a of a fufa ah, what are you talking about? So let us first determine the length of the object at a particular length. Oh my gosh! Total displacement, distance, girl. What happened? I don't know. 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 I don't
Wasser. <laughs> so, this is the starting line. So, from this spot, we'll do the all. And then, 